guys, real quick, Chosen Architect just wanted to say, today is World Download Day. So if you didn't already know, you can head on over to Discord, gg forward slash chosen architect join my community over there and uh, check out the faq it explains every way that you could possibly get access to the world downloads of course being a supporter of any tier will do so and of course guys that means this whole world could be yours all the work that goes into this all the the hours upon hours that i put into this world uh it's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the the work that i do and anyways guys of course let's get on with today's video Nothing like the smell of early morning of fresh altar rock crafting. Um, yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, so I have been definitely working on crafting these up. This was actually a lucky roll. I just wanted to show you what a lucky roll kind of looks like. It requires very little of anything. Like even though it requires a diamond, that's nothing. Um, but before I go into a vault today, there are several things that I want to get done. And uh, one of those is, well, moving the annoying sound of my farm animals out of here and over to somewhere else. I'm also going to show you why they're all built up here, because that's also really important. There's a good reason why we have several animals built up. So let's get started. I'm going to build off some massive fences on both sides because it seems like farm animal supplies are going to be a thing that's going to start building up on me. And so I need to build a fence to house a large quantity of animals. So I have my fencing set up. I just got to get these animals from out from underneath the bottom here. We got to move them over here. It's just, it's too much. There's just too many of them. And I, I need, I, I need them to build up. So one amazing thing that we can use for semi automation is a trough. So we can actually make troughs right here. And this is what they do. You place them down near your animals and you feed them up with the materials they need in order to breed. And guess what they'll do? They will over time automatically breed. And then I can, of course, raise them. Uh, the, like the babies just over time will end up, they'll grow as we do other things. But yeah, they'll just end up eating and, uh, and growing. And that's exactly what I want. I want to breed as many of them as possible. Rabbits do the exact same thing. Except rabbits, I mean, when you keep them in a cage, they're pretty crazy. So carrots, give them a few carrots. I mean, I only have several thousand of them. Um, and yeah, they should head right there. Look at that. And go to town. And you'll see the hearts uh, will pop up occasionally. And then they'll breed. Oh, this is so good. And it's going to work perfect for my mass farm that we have over here. So I am going to keep the rabbits and the chickens still underneath here. But for the major animals, they've got to go over here. And that's where this trough is going to come in handy. I'm going to place one here. Here and right by you guys. Perfect. The pigs, you guys can get to work. Wheat should be, uh, yeah, I have, I have a little bit of wheat. Probably going to need to farm more. And that is going to lead me into the next semi farm that uh, I, I've kind of been working on in secret. So over here, um, I was kind of testing out a new farm. And this also uses Quark. It seems like the Quark is the one mod that we have to use that we don't have to unlock. And so there's many things Quark can do. Uh, dispensers from uh, the dispensers can be used by Quark to dispense seeds. So this can actually plant carrots. And then I have a dispenser over here, bone milling. And there's a little bit of magic that happens. Um, I have a piston that's going to push this slab over here at a certain time that is timed just right. And what will happen is it will actually break the crop because it is completely dark in here. And so what you end up with is this happening. And so all I would need is a hopper cart to be able to collect the resources that's here. And this actually does farm. It farms this crop, believe it or not. All of this ends up working really, really well. It's quite insane. Um, so yeah, to get this to work and be consistent though, I would definitely have to use a bunch of conveyor belts. This is just sort of a, a work in progress. I would definitely have to use conveyor belts and stuff, but still at the moment, I just don't think this is worth doing when I can literally harvest these crops pretty fast just by hand. But it was, it was kind of a thing I was messing with and just seeing if it would actually work. And yes, it does. You can literally farm this by moving a slab over or whatever to make this completely dark and it breaks. 
So if you guys have any better solutions for this, let me know. Because as of right now, the only other option is potentially garden cloches, even though I have to unlock those um, and they are quite expensive. Um, so still, I think though, uh, you know, holding down this and uh, just farming these with a hoe is still basically the best option. So with all that set up, I think it's about time to go ahead and, well, run a vault. Let's hope this is a good one. I mean, there's nothing I can do to guarantee anything, but strong, easy, safe zone, and lucky. What? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll take it. This is a, this is gonna be a fantastic vault. I can already feel it. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be good. First obelisk, and it's in one of my favorite rooms. Ah, you just can't beat quick. What are you doing? There we go. Another obelisk. Hope we can fight the boss and clear out all this loot. And just like that, another one. Man, I can't, I'm finding these so fast now. Like this strategy for like going around the edges first is really, really good. Oh, this room is actually perfect. So there's actually some crystal stuff here in this room that I actually need. Um, I believe it's in here. So yeah, this right here, this crystal, this is actually useful. Even though we do get it in a waxed form, this stuff is actually quite nice to take. I am going to be taking as much as I can. And thus, I found my last obelisk. All I gotta do is take down the boss. I think I'm gonna loot a little bit more, though. So, let's go ahead and do this. With only a few seconds on the clock. This should be pretty easy. Come on, boogeyman. Yep. You got nothing on me. Hit him with the weakness. It's still so satisfying every time. So satisfying. All right, what could this boss crate hold? You know, a little bit of stuff. Just, you know, I think the faster you kill the boss, definitely the better the stuff is supposed to be. Yeah, we we never get that great even after killing the boss. But it is a nice little extra boost in loot, I guess, towards the end. We do get vault dust, which is something you don't really find a whole lot of. All right, so repairs and levels on the leggings. Not that great. No, we have we still have better gear. Man, I'm hoping for some good stuff. I know after level 50, we start to get better gear, which is gonna be pretty nice. So, I mean, I am holding off. I think I have like some of the best gear like that I could potentially have at this level. So I do have really, really good, good gear. I'm not complaining at all. So the stuff that I grabbed from the vault, right? You guys definitely remember that, right? This is it. Now, by default, it looks kind of weird. Um, it just looks like a standard block, but it's not. Let's take an axe of any kind, doesn't really matter. And all we're gonna do is unwax it. Now, once you unwax it, you'll notice the particle effects that surround this stuff. So, this stuff can actually grow, I believe, when it's down below Y level 24, I think. Um, but another great use for it is the fact that this stuff, when it is unwaxed, can be turned into runes. And I think we start to get runes later on in vaults. Um, but early on, we should be able to craft a rune right now. And if we, let's say, use a rune in an anvil, we can change the color of our enchantment glint. And look how crazy this thing looks now this is insane and also our armor 
should also we should be able to do the same to our armor. Uh, this is going to get crazy. So let's test this out. Oh my. This is going to be awesome. All of my gear. Oh yeah, we're def I'm I'm converting all of it. Well, uh don't look but oh, this is fire. This is so cool. All of our gear can look like this now. That's right. We are now a burning crusader. We are like on fire. I love it. I love the orange. It's so good. I mean, totally matches like my color scheme and everything. Looks fantastic. So now that I look like a Dragon Ball Z character and we're all like hyped up, I think it's time to do one little project that I really wanted to do. It was on my to-do list for today. And that was to get power uh, to my mobs. Yeah, it sounds weird. All right, so let me explain. So there was an Enderman in my base and they were just bouncing off the cables like that. Notice it, it does the significant damage. It was doing about four hearts or, or four, yeah, four hearts of damage every time it hit or four half hearts. That's a lot for mobs, I was thinking. So I had an idea. What if I just create this little setup and what I can do is I can line up these cables and use it to automatically kill the mobs while I'm up here. So I don't have to punch them with the sword. I can just kill them. Now, I don't get experience this way. So that would be something that I'd have to think about. But if I go ahead and connect here and here to here, they're going to start taking damage now. I could always raise this up, but I thought this would be like a neat way of doing this. I'm gonna connect this one to the back and that to the back. And now we have a cable that is lining both of the sections right in the middle. And uh, if we go ahead and just go ahead and get rid of the mass amount of mobs that are standing here. Probably shouldn't use a sword. <laughs> uh, but now every time a mob falls, it should take damage. Yeah, for the most part, they're gonna take damage. Some of them might get stuck in the middle. Um, to, to fix that, I can always crisscross these cables, and now we have more cables in there. And that seems like it's doing a pretty decent job. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's auto-killing them, and it actually, the drops actually drop, which is really, really nice. Well, it's about time for me to go ahead and jump back into another vault. This, I, I'm just dying to do more vaults. That's what it's all about. Let's get back in here. I think I'm ready. Please be good. Personal space and difficult. I, I doable, I think. Difficult may pose a bit of a problem though. Starting off, we are in a really nice room though. Uh, potential for ore? These pillars sometimes, yeah, will have modded ore in there. And that's what I want. That personal space is going to be really nice, though. So believe it or not, I found out in this room, like in the uh, the spider room, there the chance. Yeah, there's there's gilded chests, but they're up in the top part. So you have to go all the way up here to find them. Ooh, there's an obelisk underwater. I'll take that. Is ore! That was the only ore I think I need to uh, make more pogs. Oh, but I need at least two of them. Here's another obelisk, and man, these rooms are actually really nice. Like, I didn't realize how much I was actually missing out on all of the ores. I'm slowly figuring out how much ore is actually, like, everywhere. It's just, like, completely hidden from me. Like, being obscured by all these blocks. Like, for example, right there. Crazy. Look at all this ore.
15 minutes on the clock and I just found this room. Yes. Oh my gosh, the amount of ore. Another obelisk. Okay, so we only need one more obelisk and we're sh we should be good to go. I mean, this is a boss battle area. I'm gonna mark it, but I don't know if this is a great place to, to fight it. Could be kind of risky. This is also not a great room. Ooh, three minutes off. You know what, this one's actually worth it because we're already heading this way anyways to fight the boss. All right, let's go back and let's try to kill this boss. I mean, if anything, let's just really hope that our damage over time gets the job done. So here we go. I think we might have this. Come on, get in that water. Can't do nothing in the water. Yes. That was worth it. Pretty nice. And let's see what the big loot got us. Okay. Unidentified vault boots. Pretty nice. Some kiwi. The relic though. That's where it's... Oh, that's another cupcake I don't think I have. Alright, let's roll that. Roll that. Bad rolling. Oop, scrappy, scrappy, and... Oop, scrappy. 4% uh, resistance. And then we'll roll these. And then last but not least, we ended up getting netherite. Right? Or netherrack. Um, then what do we roll on those? So, just a knockback resistance. So nothing that great from there. We got an uh, enchanted book. From this, which could be anything, I think. Loot. Whoa! This is a ancient book. I think I read it wrong. Not enchanted book. Ancient book. <laughs> so that is a looting ore right there. Oh man, getting fortune would have been really nice. But you know what? That run was actually really great. Like we got tons of the uh, the ore that we needed. And not only that, tons of compressed blocks. I'm really starting to grab those now that I'm using this as my main pickaxe. So after that incredibly tasty vault run, uh, I got plenty of ore there. Didn't get any vault diamonds, but plenty of ore. Let's hope this one's just as good. Now, there is some danger that is coming real quick. And uh, that's the potential for these to be more frequently locked. Uh, that is that is what scares me the most. So, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm prepped for that, I think. But my goodness, is that still scary? So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so this is just uh, mining fatigue. Okay, so that's not that great, but you know, at least that's it. Luckily, I don't think mining fatigue actually affects the mobs, which uh, is kind of nice, actually. It doesn't affect the uh, the boomer break, I don't believe. First out of six obelisks. That's a lot of obelisks. I think I might just want to run this vault and not do the boss this time and just try and loot as much as possible. I don't know. We'll see. And just like that, another obelisk. And let's see if there's uh, anything underground for us. And no, not really. Vault diamonds on that bad boy. <laughs> yes. Oh boy, that mining fatigue really hits hard for trying to get back up. That is true. It might be faster for me just to use this. Okay, wow, another obelisk. We're looking pretty good here. Wow, and another obelisk. Okay, we might fight the boss, I don't know. All depends. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, this is my third... Third one I've been to now. I, uh... I don't know, like... I, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some good stuff here. Yep, that wasn't a good one. Nope, not good at all. Another obelisk. So we only need to find one more and then I can fight the boss. I think this might be actually doable. Wow. And right here is the obelisk. I mean, let's do this, I guess. Uh, yeah. Might as well. I don't think there's, I mean, yeah. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. Boogeyman again. I'm just reflecting all the damage. And Gonzo. Wow. I'm loving this. So what did I get from this boss crate? Actually, this one looks a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Lucky Star Essence. That's not bad. Two. So we got the warrior armor. I already have this, the Forbiddance for sure. I definitely know that. And we got some vault swords. Oh man, I hope these are good. Everything else pretty nice. We still get the eternal souls like every time we kill a boss, which is really nice. Come on, give me some luck here. All I need, some luck. And that looks really cool. So this is a plus attack speed. Oh, and it has a level, so it could level up. And then this is nothing. Bummer. I mean, I mean, like I said, our gear is really good, but Still would be nice to get something. So one thing I guess I, I actually found in the vault was this, a legendary treasure. And if we remember those, those are actually really nice. Um, Let's see, how expensive is this? Five, don't have it on me right now, but I, I definitely have it. So let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this. I have so much stuff to like just clear out. Thankfully, our storage system makes, just makes all of this so much nicer. I can just like literally just boom and then go in and clear up anything that I want to clear up. Like it's, uh, this has been such a nice change. One of the nicest, I think, so far. Another awesome thing I managed to get is another raffle. So we will have another chance, hopefully, to fight another boss and hopefully complete the timer and get it under five minutes. That'd be nice. Two vault diamonds this is actually my first run today to get vault diamonds. Oh man, tomorrow's gonna be a lot better though. I will be live streaming. I wasn't able to live stream the last few days, but I'm definitely going to be putting the live stream to the test. I'm going to try and run as many vaults as possible and hope for the best and especially hope I don't die. Vaults are getting a lot easier now that I'm sort of getting in the groove of things. Let's get some silver and let's see what this has to offer. Boom. All right. Give me some good. Anything. Ooh, so this is an unidentified vault axe. This could actually be really, really nice. And it's not scrappy. This is a normal roll. Oh, it just says normal roll. Oh, it can be scrappy. It's a 10.5 damage with the levels. Uh, it has one level, so we could level it up. I just don't know what it would give me. Interesting. I mean, with all this today, it absolutely, I mean, with us going Super Saiyan and all with our crazy, crazy colors, Ah, oh, man, today has been a pretty good day. I think uh, throughout all the runs, uh, definitely got some good ore. And that is going to be coming uh, coming in handy, especially if I want to make another cryo chamber and get another eternal. That'd be really, really cool. So uh, with that said, of course, guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to be a huge thanks to Breeze. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on the Discord. Becoming a Discord Diamond member absolutely amazing and of course guys if you're interested in joining the discord i know it's say it every episode but you can just go to discord.gg forward slash chosen architect you can access it on the web on your phone right here on your pc it's amazing it's such an amazing communication application and uh, a place for gamers to all come and hang out and of course my community is one of the um, the best i mean i'm saying it straight from the heart 
We are definitely one of the best. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for your amazing support. I'll see you in the next episode. Click that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.